chapter 4. 1 Samuel chapter 4. Hallelujah. Amen. 1 Samuel chapter 4. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Leva ka son da bahal Jesus. Me kolo mondo le bebi abarani. Repatos. Hallelujah. From verse one, and the word of Samuel came to all Israel. Now Israel went out against the Philistines to battle, and pitched beside Ebenezer. The Philistines pitched in a fake. And the Philistines put themselves in array against Israel. And when they had joined battle, Israel was smitten before the Philistines. And they slew of the army in the field about 4,000 men. Amen? Amen? And when the people were coming to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Wherefore had the Lord smitten us today before the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of Shiloh unto us. That when it cometh among us, it may save us out of the hand of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh that they might bring from thence the ark of the covenant and the Lord of hosts which dwell between the shelves and the two sons of Eli, Ophni, and Phineas were there with the ark of the covenant of God. And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all the Israelites shouted with great shout, and so that the earth rang again. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, What meaneth the noise of these? Great shout in the camp of Hebrews. And they understood that the ark of the Lord was coming to the camp. Somebody said, The ark of God. God. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God is coming to the camp, for they said, War to us, for there had not been such a thing. Therefore, War to us. Who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods that smote Egypt with all the plagues in the wilderness. Be strong quit yourself, and quit yourself like men, all ye Philistines, that ye be not servants unto the Hebrews, as they had been to you. Quit yourselves like men and fight. And the Philistines fought, and the Israel, Israel was smitten. And they fled every man, every man into his tent. And there was a great slaughter for death fell of Israel, 30,000 footmen. And the ark of God was taken. Pay attention. The two sons of Eli, Ophni, Phinehas, were slain. Verse 12. And there ran a man of the Benjamite out of the army and came to Shiloh. And the same day with the clothes rent. And when the earth upon his head, and when he came to lo, Eli sat upon a seat by the wayside, watching for his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the men came into the city and told it, they cried out. Now, as I read further, I want everyone to stand up. And, uh, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, this is just a honor to the word of God. Hallelujah. When he had heard the noise of this, the noise of the cry, he said, What meaneth the noise of this torment? And the man came in hastily and told Eli. Now Eli was 98 years old. His eyes was dim and he could not see. Look at what he said. Verse 17. The messengers answered and said, Israel is what? fled before the Philistines. They had been also a great slaughter among the people, and thy two sons, Ophni and Phineas, are dead, and the ark of God is taken. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. From this verse 18, I want everybody to read, us, read it with us together. I want everybody to read it together. Hallelujah. You can, you can switch it here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Can we read? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it came to pass, verse 18, and it came to pass when he had been mentioned of the ark of God that he fell off from the seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck broke, and he died, and he was an old man, heavy, and he had judged Israel for 40 years. And his daughter in law, Phineas' wife, was with a child. 
near to be delivered. And when she heard the tidings that the ark of God was taken, and that her father in law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and threw away, for her face came upon her. And about the time of her death, someone say, About the time of her death. The woman, let's read, the woman that stood by her said unto her, Fear not, for thou hast born a son. But she answered not, neither did she regard it. And she named the child Ichabod. Some say Ichabod. Say, the glory is departed from Israel because the ark of God was taken and because of her father-in-law, her husband. Hallelujah. And she said, the glory is departed from Israel. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say, the glory departed. Glory Today I want to share the topic called Ichabod. Oh, yeah. The Ichabod spirit. So you can see that. Someone say the Ichabod spirit. The Ichabod spirit. <laughs> 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 the Ichabod spirit has been released to many ministries, many churches, many people, individuals. They are working with this spirit now. There was a time that the prophecy came. Sit up, be alert. Something is going on. Let me tell you something. One of the things that happen is that the moment you get saved, you come into the body of Christ, hallelujah, and God himself begin, aligns himself with you. From that day, you start a relationship with him. From that day, you become a friend with him. He begins to reveal himself in mysteries, you can understand. In that through the word of God, he begins to minister, communicate with you. That is when you begin to experience daily manna from heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, if you're not careful, you begin to align yourself with people who extinguish the fire. People who kill the grace of God in your life. Hallelujah. One of the mysteries is that, the Bible says that, Jonah was sent to Nineveh. And this same man entered the boat. God has spoken to him. But one way or the other, he turned. He said, let me go to Tashish. Resisting the call of God. And there were some group of men who were just in a boat. Minding their own business. And all of a sudden, this man who had a call of God in his life, who was working in chronic disobedience, entered their boat. From that day, chaos broke out. The Bible says these people began to cast their gold and their silver into the water. All their resources was casted into the water. Not their load, not their heavy load, not their properties, but silver and gold. That is what happens. When a wrong fellow enters your life, things begin to happen. Chaos. But even at that, we don't stay alert. We still move on. It's funny that in many relationships, Many wives or many husbands have married some Jonas. Mm. Amen. And as a result of that, you go into bankruptcy. As a result of that, your soul goes into bankruptcy. Mm. Hallelujah. Many things begin to happen in your life. Things don't close in left and right. Because you did not pray. You are in disobedience. Wrong alliance. Someone say wrong alliance. Wrong alliance. Lot. Abraham and Lot had to separate. Hallelujah. But you see, even at that, Lord's wife came under judgment. Why? Because her heart was still backward. Her heart was held on to that city. Hallelujah. God tried to rescue, but he did have it. There are some of us here, listen to me. You were so gifted, so anointed, carried grace upon your life. But something happened along the way. You met some crazy people. Who try to steal the fire, steal your passion? That's why on this in this in this end time, you have to be careful of who you align yourself to. Are you hearing me today? There are crazy things happening in the body of Christ, and there are so many wolves. If you mingle yourself with wolves, your soul definitely will be hurt. Your soul will go through some serious, crazy oppression. Hallelujah! I pray for you. I pray for you. Every journal that is connected to you, I disconnect them from you. I say I disconnect them from you. 
I say I disconnect them from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We see something that Ichabod came. Samuel was sent in there. God began to raise Samuel. But Eli, something happened to Eli. The moment we were hearing the report, everybody died. Now, what is Ichabod? Ichabod. Ichabod. This conference is titled Glory Surge. Amen? Glory Surge. Many of us, amen, we, we are going to experience again the glory resurrection. Someone say the glory resurrection. Glory resurrection. Glory resurrection. Yeah. If you are like something that the enemy tried to shield your glory, God will restore it back. Hallelujah. I say God will restore it back. Hallelujah. 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 One of the things you begin to understand is that this woman called her child Ichabod. Because, because of what she went through, what she witnessed, what she experienced, Eli, mighty prophet, but something swept over the church. Something swept over the city. Something swept over the house. Things began to happen. Children who was once on fire began to sleep around. And God began to... Listen to me. Every man has a glory on their life. Every man has glory on their life. But when men go into sin, they go into captivity and oppression. Do you hear me? When you study the scripture, Jesus began to speak to Peter. He says, Upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Shall not prevail. When you use the word the gates of hell, it began to emphasize the gates of hell. A capital letter. It shall not prevail. Why? Because he said, Peter, the devil has tried to switch you like wheat, but I'm free for you. Meaning Peter was, Peter had a tendency to return back to his feet. Hallelujah. Peter, Peter had a tendency to backslide. But God is saying, I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you because I've chosen you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that lets me to tell you that when, when, when God chooses you, it means that you will go through satanic attacks. Yeah. You will go through all kinds of warfare. Yeah. But it's the prayers that will uphold you. Yeah. Are you hearing me today? I don't care what ever is attacking your destiny. God wrote his name and said, Peter, you are my rock. You are my rock. You are my rock. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are gates. There are oppositions. There are resistance. There are forces of hell that has been assigned against our soul. Hallelujah. When God says, this is my church, I will build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail. What is he saying? And immediately after that, the devil came to him. And Jesus said, Get thee behind me, Lucifer. Mm -hmm. What? So immediately after prophecy, the devil will come after you. How many of you believe that? Amen. So sometimes someone will give you a prophetic word. Sooner or later, you'll get discouraged. Some people just say, The prophecy will come to pass. As he said it, it will happen. Who told you that? Jesus prophesied it. But he said, I prayed for you. It is by prayer prophecy comes to pass. Amen. Amen. If a prophet comes to your child, comes to your family, and says, this child will be great. And the child does nothing. What do you think will happen? Amen. The child has to what? Receive, go to the place of prayer. Someone say prayer. prayer. Or the parents have to what? Go to a place of prayer to fulfill the prophecy. When you start in the life of Samson, Samson's birth was as a result of angelic prophecy. Amen. It wasn't just Mebeth, it was a prophetic word that was confined on him. Prophetic declarations over the life of Samson. But even in the midst of that, hallelujah, even in the midst of those prophetic words, that was given to Samson. What happened to him? Samson found himself in a different place, in a different spot. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In the midst of that prophetic word, what happened to Samson? The mother and the father were the one that had a visitation. Samson never had an encounter with God. He just carried on with the strength of God in his life. Never was it recorded that he once prayed. 
Somebody was interceding for him. Somebody was interceding for him. Why? Every time you have a prophetic word on your life, every time you have a call of God on your life, the devil will always come after you. Amen. If a prophecy come upon you, don't sit down. Pray. Stand it up. I say what? Pray what? Stand it up. Hallelujah. I stopped this thing and I wonder. Do you remember when Peter was in the prison? What happened to Peter? How many of you remember that story? Amen? Peter! Amen? How many of you remember the story? Peter was arrested. Arrested. John the Baptist was arrested. James, arrested. Well, how, many, how many people survived? Only one. Right? <laughs> Here's the mystery. How did Peter survive it? He prayed. Who prayed? No, no, the body prayed too. Ah, was it the body that rescued Peter? Yes, the body. Or Jesus prayed? Jesus prayed already for Peter. But the devil amacked Peter that after Jesus leaves, I will target this man. But Jesus had to raise the assessors for Peter. Does that make sense? Yes. When God places his hand upon you and says, my son, the devil tried to switch you like wings, but I'll pray for you. Yes. It means that you're unmovable. Nobody can shift you. You are a rock. The devil was trying to terminate prophecy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So if you are here and somebody has declared prophecy over your, your destiny, somebody has said some things over your children, you must take it to a place of prayer. Somebody said, take it to a place of prayer. Place of prayer. Is, can some, is somebody hearing me or am I talking too fast? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. You must get yourself ready in this season because the church is erupting with God's fire. But it only takes tenacity, diligence, and a hunger. Do you know that if you are getting, if people are getting, if people are offending you, you people tend to offend you every time, every time, every time. Do you know it's because you carry something that the devil sees? Do you know that the devil is scared of you? Yes. And all he can do is to release offense against you, to break down your defense and your wall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> In the book of Psalm 34, verse 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encamped over those that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he what? Delivers them. Amen. Amen. The angels of God encamp. When angels of God encamp around you, it's because you carry a glory, mm -hmm. a grace mm -hmm. upon your life. Yeah. Offenses break you down. Mm. Offenses reduces the fire in your life. If you don't repent immediately, mm -hmm. the devil will use that as a great weapon to suppress, suppress, suppress. Mm -hmm. And finally suppress you. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. David had a huge heart. So everybody will try to offend him. Friends will come, they will betray him. Report to Saul. We don't know how much Saul was rewarded then. But David kept panting after God, after God. Hallelujah. Kept his heart right. Amen. In this season, the spirit of offense will be released to men. Sometimes you wake up, you feel hardiness in your heart. It's because the devil is putting all kinds of nonsense in your heart. Heaviness, oppression. But today, in the name of Jesus, may you be delivered. Amen. I say, may you be delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. There are forces. So much forces. So much demonic forces. When you start dreaming of serpents, you start dreaming of python spirits. That is where for you to really pray. Because they will kill your fire and they will kill your prayer life. Hallelujah. In fact, once you are the person that dreams about a serpent or python, you start, you get, in fact, your mood, you, you start going through mood swings. You get very upset very quickly. No joy of the Lord anymore. Your prayer life becomes struggle. You become very heavy in moving. You praise God. There's no flow. 
Because Python's spirit will harden your heart for worship. Glory to God. Glory to God. All this is to let the fire and his glory leave you. To let his presence depart from you. Amen. When God says, upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail, is a prophetic word given to you. How many of you want to, you want the work of God to prosper in your life? Amen. Amen. In this conference, the glory that God puts inside of you that has been covered up, has been tied down, has been oppressed, suppressed, depressed, we suddenly begin to burst and emerge. Amen. Is this place cold or what? You feeling cold? Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. It's just the one. Usually the one is always, uh, you can feel like strange resistance. My brother, you're dressing like you're in London or something. <laughs> I'm from New York. I'm from Minnesota. It's, it's warm over there. <laughs> Hallelujah. My name is uh, Behiri uh, Emmanuel. Amen? Amen. Behiri means destiny. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I'm from, originally from Nigeria, born in Louisiana, Baton Rouge. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I know some of you are like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Where does he come from? <laughs> These are the men that turn the city upside down for God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in order for you to change your seasons, in order for you to erupt in prayer, you must locate your Elizabeth. Someone say, locate my Elizabeth. Locate my Elizabeth. You must connect with those with the same vision. If you can find a man or a woman who is a man of prayer, you will break oppressions. And the reason we are not connecting is because of what? Pride. Someone say pride. pride. Pride is a killer. Pride makes you big in the eyes of others. Mm. Hallelujah. You see yourself so big, mm. whereas you are nothing before others. When the spirit of humility comes, you appreciate the grace in others. You celebrate others. You see Christ in others. Hallelujah. You know, there are people that are not teachable. Hmm? That's one of the greatest signs. If you can receive that teachableness to be taught by the Lord, to be mentored, whoo, you will fly high. You will fly. Hallelujah. There are so many forces that, that every day, every day, men go through all kinds of warfare and attack. Do you know, when the devil wants to destroy a man, if the devil wants to destroy him, huh? And he sees that you are surrounded by the multitude of counselors around you. You know what he introduces? A Leviathan spirit. Because the Leviathan spirit comes upon you. You don't want to listen to anybody anymore. You want to be very stubborn, very rigid. I know it all. Nobody tells you anything. Once you reach that level, you are heading for destruction. Somebody corrects you, you get angry. Mm, I'm out of here. No tolerance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, God punish Satan. <laughs> Somebody say, God punish Satan. <laughs> see, see, you are scared. You are scared. I said, Somebody say, God punish Satan. God punish Satan. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, help me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Listen. We need to understand first. Yeah. You need to understand. <laughs> <laughs> if John the Baptist was here, all of you would run out. Because the man did not have perfume. Flies was all over him. He didn't even have toothbrush, no mouthwash. How will you guys connect? We're in America, we love perfume. You won't be able to. Now I come here with some real radical accent. Amen. I understand. Now when you when we say it again, say God punish Satan. God punish Satan. Amen. 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 Say, Satan is a bastard. Satan is a bastard. And so is his mother in law. And so is his mother in law. Ah, two, three people are scared. They are really scared. <laughs> Amen. He cannot do anything against you. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in order for you to press on, to really, really press on in prayer, 
to be really addicted. You must understand. Anything you don't know is the devil's success against you. Anything you don't know is what? The devil's success against your life. Be a fighter in the spirit. Be, somebody say what? Be a fighter. I don't know if you still remember your dreams. You still drink? You still remember your dream? Some of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you see yourself naked, I beg of you, it's time to pray. It's time to go into a fast. Amen. Because the devil wants to steal glory. There are glory stealers all over. Glory stealers. I met a brother who I was trying to pray for, and the brother said, Please don't lay hands on me. I said, Why? He said, my, 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 I was told that people or ministers should not lay hands on me. I said, He. I said, Okay, how many times do you go to the Bible salon? He said, uh, Maybe twice a month. I said, really? Okay. So for the was the last time a man of God lay hands on you? It'd be a long time. I said, what? So fleshly hands has been laid upon you for two hours. <laughs> As a, in a barber salon. Lay hands without yeah. praying for you. But you want a preacher not to lay hands on your head. Is that something wrong? Yeah. Some of you women, sometimes you're in the salon and you have a homosexual lay hands on your head and play with your head, playing around, and you're laughing and smiling, enjoying it. Mm. Why foul spirits are getting access into you? Mm. You go home, you don't even know what's wrong, what's going on with you anymore. Mm. Strange dreams, perversions, mm. because some filthy spirit has laid, been laid upon you. Mm. When I go to the Bible salon, I pray in tongues before I go there. Zeke Baha, Liban Telebohoas. And I get into the Holy Ghost in the car. When, when, he, when he, when, by the time I get into the salon, he cuts my head. I come out. Sagada Bahala Badosh. Every unclean spirits that came upon me as a result of my haircut. Come out of me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of you get the signs. You get, you get oppressed. Headache. And you go and sleep with it. Maybe I will wake up. No. Why mess up the enemy so tight? You are just make, give you room for the enemy. Don't sleep. Don't carry that oppression to your bed. Rebuke the thing. Whether your faith is there or not, just says, come out. It will come out. It might not be right there. It might be two hours later. It will come out. Amen. Your words. Your words carry power. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if you are fearful and you are scared, act it. Act your boat. Hide your, your fear. Somebody say, hide your fear. Hide your fear. Somebody say, hide your fear. Hide your fear. Hide your fear. Hide your fear. But in the name of Jesus, say this on the clear. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh my goodness. Somebody stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. I want you to make this very sure. Say in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every good door. Every good door. Every good door. Every good door. Oh, I can't hear you. Say every good door. That was shot against me. That was shot against me. Open. 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 In the name of Jesus. Say this not a flag. Say every gate of hell. Every gate of hell. Every resistance. Every resistance. Every opposition. Every opposition. Against me. Against me. And my family. And my family. Scatter. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every power of witchcraft. Every power of witchcraft. Every curse. Every judgment, I break it now. I reverse it now. I destroy it now. In Jesus' name, spirit of oppression over my life. I bind you. I cast you out. Loose me and let me go. Spirit of fear, come out my fire. Come out my fire. In the name of Jesus, say every strength spirit. Every oppression, every oppression, affliction, affliction over my spirit, over my spirit. Loose me, loose, loose me, loose me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. You can have your seat. 
See, proto. I mean, if you feel something, just break off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a you will see that fire break out in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, I receive boldness. I receive boldness. Every forces of hell. Every forces of hell. United against my life. Say, forces of confusion. Some of you don't pray this prayer. You are reminding the spirit of confusion. How many of you understand confusion? Hallelujah. How many of you understand the spirit of confusion? Let me explain it. I put this here. I come back. I go to the restroom. This for me to remember where I kept it. I'm like, where is my microphone? Thought I kept it here. Where is it? Where is it? And after about two hours, time is gone. Oh, it's there. Are you hearing me? A prophet comes to talk to you. Son, you need to do this. Son, you need to do this. Son, you need to do that. This is what the Lord is saying. You leave their phone. Is that God? Or was it the flesh? What is going on? Was he speaking to me or is it flesh? Hmm. And then you want to play that. Confusion. Confusion. Confusion can nullify the strength of God's word in your life. Mm. When God sent an helper, when the spirit of confusion is being released, you can look at your helper as an enemy. You say, hmm, you are a suspect. Why is he asking me about this? The person is intending to bless you. You say, hmm, why is he, by the way, he's hungry? Hmm, he has something behind it. And then you start pulling away. Confusion. Say, I bind the spirit of confusion. I bind the spirit of confusion. Assigned against me. Assigned against Say, every spirit of confusion. Every spirit of confusion. Over my life. Over my life. Over my dreams. Over my family. I bind you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You must, you must be on the forefront. You must be a man of prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Another thing to really strengthen yourself is what? My brother, come forward, come in. I spoke to you, right? You, 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 the last person. Yes. Come. Come. <laughs> Glory to God. Is that, is, is that the drama or what? Come, come. Yes. Yes. You're yeah, way back. Come over here. Second row. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then, we are getting them one by one. Don't worry. <laughs> you know you have a call of God on your life, right? You have a call of God on you. You know that? <laughs> Grandmother has been praying for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I was in India, and uh, we were using this uh, big hall. Back, you know, we, uh, the big hall, and everybody was, you know, Giving a word, a prophetic word. When it was my turn, I began to minister the word of God. And all of a sudden, you have this man, a drunkard, smoking on the back. <laughs> I smoked on the way back. And I looked at him. I said, Ah, what is this? I said, Take that man out. Everybody looked at me like, Huh? This is the love of God. This is the house of God. How can you take a man out? I said, Take him out. <laughs> Amen. And the Lord said, Tell them. Jesus entered into the temple and drew all of them that bought and sold. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you're not on fire, you compromise. Someone say compromise. compromise. If you're not on fire, you compromise. The devil is doing too many things. I didn't come here to expose the devil. I came here to expose the devil and to impart the light of God upon you. Amen. And so whatsoever is killing your grace, killing your hunger, making the word of God to look impaired, look Amen. It's, 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 you're going to see the resurrection of God's fire. If you all make it for, if you make it today, uh, tomorrow, and Sunday, oh boy, the glory of the Lord will be your portion. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I said the glory of God will be your portion. Amen. You know, after this event, amen, God is going to remove the cover over your ministry. He's going to remove the cover over your ministry. You're going to, you're going to blow up all over YouTube. The glory of God is going to descend upon you.
Sometimes people just come, they don't understand what's going on. Sometimes God will bring you to a tunnel, to a spirit before you experience the harvest. It brings you before Jordan to cleanse you. Hallelujah. Amen. I see some stars rising in this place. I see some stars rising in this place, in this house. In the name of Jesus. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing some foot washing. Somebody say foot washing. Foot washing. How many of you have ever been to a foot washing before? You've been. How many of you have ever been washed by an oil? Your feet has been dipped in oil. When oil comes upon you, in the book of Jokers, oil speaks of prosperity. Amen? When the oil of the Lord comes upon your feet, it releases what they call speed. Without oil in your car, your car breaks down. When an oil comes upon you, international doors open up. I pray for three hours with my leg in an oil and God began to open international doors. 2018 has been marked for great sons and daughters to emerge oh, yeah. in the kingdom. It only takes those who carry oil on their head. Oh, yeah. Because oil will fight for you when nothing else works. Oil will speak for you. Mm. Oil will elevate you. Oh, yeah. Oil gives you an audience. Mm. Are you hearing me today? Yeah. Oil takes two places where others don't experience. Mm. Oil opens doors for you. So tomorrow, be very correct, invite people. Some of you have been going through some leg pain, one issue or the other. As the oil comes upon your feet, you will feel different. Some chains will be broken from your life. Limitations will break from your life. Are you hearing me? You will, you will be moving at ease, ease. It's like some the limitation that have been haunting their family will suddenly break. Especially the spirit of barrenness will break. Sometimes you go to a place before you reach there, your helper has been taken away. An enemy gets in there. Why like can't a man has, have a connection at a job? Was invited, say, come to this company. <laughs> Amen? And part of the human resources, you will get hired. As the man went in there, he, he, he was taught by the secretary and all kinds of questions. Amen? By the time he was getting to his tongue, the guy in the human resources, among the those who were interviewing, had to go to the restaurant, had to run his stomach, his own helper. <laughs> and by the, time, by the time he got to the interview session, he was looking for his friend. Couldn't find his friend. His friend had run his stomach in the restaurant there. A phone call came in. His wife was calling him. All kinds of stuff. Why is his enemy in the interview was looking at this guy? I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. Mm. The interview did not last two minutes. He left. And his friend was calling him, where you at? Where you at? He said the interview is over. What? Who could he have done? That was how he lost the dog. Because why? When your feet are tied, spiritual delays on your life. You struggle and struggle and struggle. It's like you're on a treadmill, but there's no success. Today it will be broken. Amen. You feel serpent moving your legs, moving around your legs. You feel movement in your legs. Those are serpent arms. Hallelujah. But by the engagement of God's oil, you'll be, you'll be free. You'll be free. You'll be free. You'll be free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. board is a killer. board is a stealer. board has emptied houses. board will empty your finances. You were once prosperous before, but now you are borrowing and borrowing. It's a ministry of Ichabod. Are you hearing me today? You used to have some great friends, but now all your friends are enemies. It's a ministry of Ichabod. Ichabod is a spirit of death. Are you hearing me today? When Ichabod is released over your life, it's like you find yourself in the midst of enemies and few helpers. Right. Even helpers are betraying you. It's an Ichabod spirit. When an acre of spirits in oppression, everybody begins to fight against your children. Police, ticket, left and right. Nobody is showing you favor. That devil is a liar. 
Every spirit of Ichabod ministering against you, I break that spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's, 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 that spirit is so dark and evil. Let me tell you, that force is a spirit that is existing. He named that child Ichabod because she witnessed the death. Everybody died. Eli, a prophet, just heard that word, Ichabod. The ark has been taken. And this man fell back and died, just like that. Has Ichabod entered your ministry? Has Ichabod entered your temple? Has Ichabod entered your life? That last relationship you entered, what happened to you? Where did your fire go? Where did your passion go? Where did your hunger go? Where did the grace that you carry? Where did it go? There was. <laughs> you are where you are now because of who you listen to. Somebody's voice played a role in your life. And when you begin to listen to the wrong voice, every wrong voice is a form of distraction. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you meet the wrong crowd, you have met delays. Amen? But I pray for you that you must miss your enemy in this season. Amen. Every man that has been set up for a setback in your life, you must miss them. Yeah. Miss them. And must you meet your helpers? Yeah, I see your helpers. Yeah, Hallelujah. How I many of you want to meet helpers? This is it. Raise your hands up. Raise your hands up. God's grace will come upon you. Say in the name of Jesus. In this season, my father, connect me to my helpers. To my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus. Say all my helpers. Locate me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. Sada bahala barosh. Men remen ke pray kado rabaya. Ila gadala bara babaya. Rege de rebe rebe biya prabo sada bahaya. Ila brada raba gata bata rebe rebe kafya. Ela gada raba bara rebe rebe biya pradish. E gada bara bara rebe biya. My help us for find me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Hallelujah. Psalm 24. We're about to leave. We're about to leave. Psalm 24. Psalm 24. Let's quickly go there and then around up. <coughs> you are lifted. Amen. You are lifted in the name of Jesus. <laughs> This well, <laughs> hey, brother. Psalm twenty-four. Can somebody read? <clears throat> the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof; the world and they that dwell therein. For He hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Amen. This is what? The generation of them that seek him. Yes. Hallelujah. They say, lift up your head over your gates. So God is trying to say that as long as you have a clean heart and a pure heart, if your heart can be clean, if you can bring your heart to a state of cleanness and holiness, if your hands, if you can purify your hands, come to the place of innocence. Hallelujah. If you can mean what you say and restore back integrity, it says what? And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Read the last verse, verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, 
the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Hallelujah. And what? The King of glory shall come in. Hallelujah. Now, let's run back. 1 Samuel chapter 7. 1 Samuel chapter 7. Hmm. You see why I was smiling when he was reading the ark? I don't know if you remember he was talking about the ark of God. He was like, hmm. I was like, hmm. This man is on point. Prophetic grace. But God will stir it up in Jesus' name. 1 Samuel chapter 7. Now remember this now, be proud to these, Israel suffered so much calamity, so much darkness, priests were dying left and right, the house of God was deserted, everybody was wandering, the ark of God became a curse in their life, amen, rather than a blessing, any means received the ark of God, it became a curse to them, came on Israelites, it became a curse to them, priests were dying left and right, what shall we do? This was the emergence of Samuel. Samuel came forth. In verse 3, <coughs> Samuel spoke unto the house of Israel, saying, If ye do what? Return. Return to the Lord with all of your heart. Then put away the strange gods and Astaroth from among you. <laughs> we'll be dealing with Astaroth very soon. <laughs> Towards the end of the conference, we'll deal with Astaroth. Someone say Astaroth. Astaroth. Amen. Amen. Put away strange gods and asteroids from among you. Prepare your hearts unto the Lord. Set the woman, and he will deliver you out of the hands of the Philistines. Every time you come into bondage, the devil hands you over to your enemy. Are you hearing me? You hearing me very well? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Verse 4. Then the children of Israel did put away Balin, asteroid. And save the Lord only. Samuel said, Gather all Israel to me speech, and I will pray for you unto the Lord. And they gathered together, me speech, and drew water, poured it upon, poured it out before the Lord, fasted on that day, and said, Then we have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the, the, the children of Israel in his faith. Look what it says in verse 7. When the Philistines heard that the children, of, the children of Israel was gathered together to be split, the Lord of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said unto Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord God for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. Amen. Look how it says in verse 9. Everybody read it. So we are seeing something very unique here. Hallelujah. Something very unique and very powerful. Pay attention now. They repented. God heard. Number two, what was the last thing? The next thing they did? They offered, they made an offering. And verse 9, Samuel took a lamb and burnt offerings and offered it and cried out for Israel. An offering and also a heart offering. You repent and also God took and sacrificed. Look at what it says. Verse 10, as Samuel, as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew nigh to the battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with great thunder. Hallelujah. Somebody, God will thunder on your behalf. Yes. I say, God will thunder on your behalf. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I say, God, what? Thunder. Oh, Kill him and the devil. Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Jesus. Brothers. And the children of Israel went out of this. Uh, imagine, even pursued the Philistines, smote them until they came. Really? 
These were the guys who were being pursued. But after the sacrifice was altered, something came upon them, ferocious boldness. They began to chase the Philistines that once killed them and slaughter them. God arose. Today, listen to me. Today. Today is going to be practical. Musicians, I need your help. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You hear me the sound? I want to get an offering. Amen. I want to get an offering in your hand. Hallelujah. You saw what happened here? Samuel began to repent for the people. People began to repent. I want you to, as you get an offering in your hands, Amen. You're going to begin to talk to the Lord. Lord, wherever the ark of God has departed from me, have mercy upon me. Lord, I use as an offering. Listen to me. When the ark of God, our ark of God is in your life, the devil will prosper against you. The gates of hell will be victorious over your life. But they took an offering, amen, in sacrifice, and guess what happened? The attack ceased. The warfare dissipated. God pulled that from heaven. How many of you want to see God arise for you? Hallelujah. From that day, everything they said, they came to a place of rest. If you read towards the end of the scripture, these guys came to a place of rest. Why? Because something went into heaven on their behalf. I feel the anointing right now. Hallelujah. When I read the scripture in the blank, I said, Hey! hey. Somebody said, Hey! hey. <laughs> Hallelujah! I'm going to feel to come to a place of rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. I want everybody to get the offering and come forward to the altar. Oh, Rebbe Saga Barabas. Rebbe Bebe Bebe Biafo Shadaba. Go ahead. Bele Sereba. Karaba, no, 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 Sereba, no, 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 Come forward. If you have your offering, just come forward. Hallelujah. Eleven televos. You have the envelopes? The envelopes in the back. Hallelujah. If you want to write a check, pay for the water of fire. Glory ministries. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I get 
Amen. Amen. I'm singing this song because I'm seeing God is about to change yes. your season. Amen. If you neglect this grace now, you miss it. If you neglect this grace now because of your mind, you miss it. I don't blame you. Hallelujah. Eli saw a young boy called Samuel. God's hand was upon him while there was judgment in the camp. God was crazy, Samuel. That song, come let us so like the eagle's sweet wings. Come the eagle's sweet wings. I will not fail. I will not fail. Come let us so Father, we don't show us mercy. 
Father, show us mercy. Stepping away from your presence, God, show us mercy. God, show us mercy for hardening our heart in disobedience. Oh, God, show us mercy. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Sadia Paratia Brani. Selemando Sia Baratadia. Erenananania Sotolo. Erenania. We pastors, oh God, show us mercy. Show us mercy upon our congregation, upon our churches. Oh God, show us mercy. Mercy, oh God. Erenania Sa. Erenania Sona Mandelia. Maleko Sondalia Pelea. Erenania Katu Sahaya. Lord, we are watchmen before you. Where we have made mistakes. Mercy, O God, mercy, O God. E kabanda haya, masia belebosia. E remanja ini dia kos. Jesus, as this oil is released upon them, let the strange favor 
stretch grace of prosperity. Rest upon them. Rest upon us. Rest upon them. Rest upon us. Let the special grace for your assignment, special grace to fulfill your work, let it come upon your people. In the name of Jesus, let your peace be awakened now. Let there be an open heavens in the life of your people. Let every terror attacks in their dream come to an end. In the name of Jesus, Close doors, let it be open now. In the name of Jesus, violence will put an end to you. In the name of Jesus, sickness and disease will cause you to the roots. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Kosabahari. Lord, as we release the oil, we provoke your, your grace. We provoke your anointing in the life of the people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let struggles come to an end. Struggles come to an end. Let them be unity. Let them be love.